Okay, we'll give that a shot. That'll be fun. Do 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 do. Okay. So here we go. Or like, place your bets for how long you think it'll take until the game crashes, but sure. Yeah, if you want to place bets on how long this level's gonna take, go for it. Oh man, this is clipping all over the place. At least it didn't fall in the pit. Well, that wasn't bad. But yeah, if I do manage to fail some of these levels or the game crashes or something like that, I'll deal with the awesome clipping that's going on. Oops. That's no good. Uh, games with finicky controls. So fun. Also, I should look into whatever this auto-splitter thing is. Um, just because I could get more consistent split times using it. Probably. good pace. On a pretty darn good pace. Damn it, Iggy. There we go. You know, maybe I want to set this to split. Yeah, when this animation ends. Let's 
get a feather, or rather a cape. We. Damn it. supposed to take the secret exit here, which isn't really too secret. Um, okay, so why did it take me... How did I manage to save a minute over the last time I did that? How is that possible? next. Meaning, again, I've got to take a secret exit. after a Star World 1. Is it another Star World 1 or is it Star World 2? Star World 2, so I just need to take the normal exit. Um, Oh, did I take the wrong exit? I think I did. Yeah, I needed to take the secret exit to move forward. Okay, so this is the slowest I can do on that exit. But meaning next time. <laughs> Whatever. to skip a split later. Um, okay, take this secret exit.
Okay, Star World 3, Secret Exit. This one's pretty easy to find. Just don't get hit. Star World 4, Secret Exit. Whoops. Could've gone better, could've gone worse. Grabbing the secret exit is going to be a little tricky, because I have to build up run, uh, quite a bit of speed here. How do I build up enough speed? Um, maybe Mario with the cape just by himself is enough. Okay, you don't have you need to have very much speed to do this. Never mind. Front door. Alright, I think it's door four, which is... Well, I prefer door four and door eight, just because I'm silly like that. Door eight's fun. Oops, that's not the one I like. Okay, well, we're going to do door four anyway. Because it's often neglected. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Alright, I'm crazy enough to go through door 8. So, that's why we're picking door 8. See, that wasn't so bad. try to beat Bowser without losing my cape. Hopefully that won't prove too difficult. Sorry about that little distraction there. For some reason I thought that um, oh, I guess both my R1 and R2 buttons must be mapped. Oh, my button mappings are wrong. That's the deal. Alright, well, we're going to take a hit to collect the item. Just so the timer doesn't get messed up again. Oh, this doesn't wrap around. Huh. Alright, so I go up. It goes up, come, must come down. And I go up again down. Alright. Now I just stand here in the middle, and he throws out two Mecha Koopas. I mean, this is a really exciting boss battle here. Okay. There we go. Two more hits, and we'll be done with them. This is a really nice touch how the shit stake how the stage shakes with oh shoot. Okay. Um 
Well, there goes my goal of um, beating him with the cape. Uh, at least I didn't die. I can always come back with the cape later. So I wonder what's happened to my achievements. Also, I don't know when this achievement gets counted, so I'm gonna wait for the zoom out sequence. Or animation. Yeah, as soon as it fades to black, I will reset. Um, There's the achievement. I assume. Okay, we're gonna reset. And then hit Yoshi's Island 1. Oh, it didn't save. Yeah, because now I have a path count of 7. Um, well, okay. It's been a fun experiment. Um, I'm gonna stop the timer right here. And okay, that's what I used to do: is stop the timer um, to watch the credits. Not s okay. I get it. I get it. Um, so I goofed. I goofed big time. But also, I still don't know where are my achievements. Right? So like when I hit the start button. Um, Yeah. Something's really not right. Where did my achievements go? Let me see how to use this emulator. Uh, okay, so it does give me the achievements, even if I'm not seeing them on screen. But I want to know... Um, how is it that I'm supposed to observe these in the emulator? Usually hitting the start button will just show you uh, achievements, but that didn't work. Um, So if I hit the escape key, that'll take... No, that didn't work. Escape must be bound to something else. Um, well, for one thing, we're going to do something about this timer here, which seems to think it's in charge. Um, how is it that that timer got reactivated? to register a key to reset the timer. So we'll do that and reset it. Um, <sighs> so I've turned off global hotkeys over there. Let's just go into a level and hit pause and see what happens. Alright, so I pause the game, I hit the escape key, none of this seems to be showing the menu. So how do I access the overlay? Um, what if I just reset the game altogether 
and hit escape. Escape must be bound to something, but what? Um. Okay, where's my escape key? Oh, the pause key is mapped to overlay. Well, that won't quite do. Um, Alright, what, what shortcut keys did I set up for my splits again? Um, Alright, so to view this, yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, no, I don't want to disable it. Um, okay, button 9 is already mapped as select. Um, okay, fine, we'll use the pause key to invoke uh, this. So why am I not seeing achievements when I hit pause? Um, Yeah, something's messed up with this emulator. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to show achievements while I'm playing. Um, that appears not to be working. I change my window size or something. Um, display configuration? Uh, at this point I'm really just grasping because I don't know what's going to cause the achievements to show up and not. Okay, so I have to set video mode to direct draw for achievements to show up. There we go. Does this only work with direct draw? I mean, it's cool if direct draw works, it's just I have to know, like, how this stuff works. And I'm learning it the hard way. Um, so if I change the window size... I don't understand. So... Try and all of these various video settings. Um, let's turn off some special uh, output image processing stuff. Uh, what else could I try? Turn off stretch image? Nope, that's not something I want to touch. I'm curious just why does that go off the span of the screen? There's just so much here that I don't understand. Um, at least I'm learning a little bit each time I try this out. So, okay, let's try resetting the game. Hmm. 
Okay, so direct draw works on all emulators, which is why they pick direct draw. Um, if we needed a different rendering method, we could have one for sure. It would just take some coding effort. Um, such effort that I'm not going through at the moment. Um, okay. Nope, don't want to full screen this, Windows. Why would Windows think that I'd want to full screen a game? Alright. There we go. So I just have to use direct draw on load. And now I can reset my achievements and try again. Um. So... Let me go reset my Super Mario World achievements. And we'll give this another go. That was a practice run, everybody. Next run is hopefully going to make it much farther. And not encounter as many technical problems. Um, okay, so let me pick Super Mario World. Go. And then I can look over here as I achieve achievables. Or the game calls them achievements, but why don't I call them achievables? It sounds like a more fun name. Hey, how's it going? We're about to give this another try. A minute ago I had all kinds of problems with this emulator, but uh, I think if I restart this, I think I'm finally getting everything set up right. Um, okay. Uh, let me close a couple windows that I have up in the background, which could be causing who knows what effects. Um, Better leave that one open. Wouldn't want to shut down my chest server just yet. Um, okay. And let's load up a game. Make sure things look okay on the stream. Well, we'll see. Let me take a look at what's actually showing on the stream. Oh, this is the... you're probably seeing the demo sequence. Is this the demo? Let me see. Just one more second and I'll know. I mean, surely this is the demo sequence, but... Yeah, there we are. Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright. Um... Turn the spec on. And hopefully this will all work out much better than it did last time. Okay, and at conclusion of beating Bowser each time, I pause the timer, watch the credit sequence, and then reset. That's the key. Um, last time I reset prematurely and lost some of my progress, and that was upsetting. Um, so, do I have everything set up? Like, where's my pause key? Okay, I do have my pause key set up. That's good. So I think, yeah, let's give this another try. Alright. Three, two... One, go. If 
unfortunately, this game does have some downtime between levels and at end of ends of worlds and such. Um. All right, we'll take Yoshi, because why not? See, that's an achievement. You get achievements for all kinds of things in this game. On the bright side, this doesn't appear to be clipping nearly as much as it used to earlier, so that's pretty nice. There ought to be an achievement for, oh, yeah, for that sort of Yoshi trick. That was unfortunate that I was kind of forced to do that there. Um, whoops. Let's not fall. Shoot. All right. Yeah, I lost my rhythm. Ah, thank goodness for checkpoints, right? Up, oh, okay. Let's not fall in the gap again. Actually, why don't I collect these dragon coins? Um, it'll take just an instant, and it'll help me get one of my achievements. They're dragon coins, not dragon balls. The game seems a little confused on that point. Yeah, Geometry Dash is good fun. Um, hmm. I mean, that's a fair question. Why not just do that? Oh no, I took a hit. Ouch. Um, well, fortunately, just over here, there's a midway gate. Yeah, I guess the reason I'm choosing to play a video game is uh, just today I feel like playing a video game. Um, I don't have a pretty strong preference toward any given game, but... Um, but it's just been, I don't know, months since I've done this sort of thing. Uh, so I wanted to see if I could still do it. Oh, well, that almost worked. There we go. Also, Mario's fun.
Oh, that didn't help. I wanted to get... Okay. Well, I just confused myself. Wait, can I get this guy? Yeah. Can I take off from this platform? There we go. There we go. Much better. these fish. No, come back my P-switch. Alright, cool. No, give me the key. I want the key. There we go. And let's get the secret exit of the donut secret house. Just for the fun of it. I just hit the B-switch, because, you know, why not? Oh, that makes getting the secret exit a little bit more challenging. Because now I've got to... Um, hit this over here. And climb the beanstalk. And get the door before it expires. There we go. And we get rewarded with a boss fight! Hooray! Arr. Alright. No! Okay, that was close. To the stars! Alright, now you can get through this part a little bit faster if you have a cape. But I don't, so... Just do it the slow way. There we go. Much better than my last attempt where I got the wrong exit. Um, Alright, let's grab the star. Oh, getting this secret exit is a little bit more fun if you are missing, um, what's it? Uh, that's not good. Ha! <laughs> okay, so my route to getting that secret exit quickly is going to be finishing the level, coming back, and beating it properly. 
Hey, it's Z Nation Chess. Yeah, unfortunately, this is just good old Mario here. Um, not chess today, but... Or at least not right now. Huh. So apparently if you chuck the block at that, that doesn't work. Who knew? Okay. I seem to be capeless. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need this blue shell later. Um, just to fly about. Oh no! Oh no, I forgot, I will need a cape. Well, this is gonna end disastrously. Um, yeah. Okay, so I need to get a cape to get that exit. Because um, I can't just grab a shell and then spit out the shell. Or rather, I could, could get this... Just having fun playing some Mario here, so that's how I'm doing today. No, no, no. Yoshi, eat the coin. Eat the last coin. There we go. Oh, it stopped the timer. Don't stop the timer. Okay. Um. Oh, but this is Yoshi... Ah. Yeah, no, any Yoshi can eat a blue shell and spit it out. Um, well, that was cool. This one happens to be good at pounding the ground. Oh, crud. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a cape. Uh, we'll do this properly. I think there's a cape over here. Yeah. For sure this is not going to be fast. Okay. Sorry for the pausing the timer again. I have the start key mapped to pause the timer. Where's start joypad button? Um, pauses the timer, because I would never have expected in many years that I would ever have to press um, the pause key in the middle of a speedrun. Um, but apparently I do, because I'm just that good. <laughs> um, oops. There we go. Don't die on me, Yoshi. Oh, okay. Yoshi's kind of asking for it. See, he shouldn't have eaten that shell. Because then I might have had to chuck him to get this key. Alright. Actually, given where I'm going next, it doesn't matter whether I have Yoshi or not. Alright. Because where I'm going next is Bowser. I'm gonna try to beat Bowser with the cape. Alright, door one, two, three, and four. I need to figure out which door is which for that first section, because I have a feeling there is a faster way to get through this. Just a. Oh, crud. <laughs> Just a hunch. Um. Wow, I have no attention span today. That's fantastic. Alright, what's in door two? 
since I kind of borked this already. Yeah. Whoops. That looks dangerous. Hey, door two's not so bad. Um. Oh, door de door eight's kind of a death sentence if I don't have any power ups. Let's try seven. Well, I have no cape, so I'm not going to get the beating Bowser with a cape achievement. Um, and you know, this is actually kind of tricky. Um, all right, let's try door one. What's in door one? Oh, it's an auto scroller. Perfect. There's nothing better for speed runs than a section of the level that you can't control the pace over. Oops, well that was accidental. Um, let's try door two. Just because we're sampling all the doors anyhow. Yeah, door one is kind of painful if you haven't gotten any of the switches yet. Oh right, this is door two. I remember this. Let's try door two next time. Okay. Five. Yeah, let's try five. I think five is the thwomp one, right? Yeah. Don't want to mess with these guys. They're pretty serious. Okay, crud. I should have run faster. Okay. Well, that's door five. Um, let's try a different door next time. Something other than five. I think I'm going to remember not to do five, if I just keep mentioning that I should not do it. Um, wait, is there a power up back here? No. I could have sworn there's stuff hidden in here. Hey, a one up. At least now I won't game over. I might lose over and over, but I won't game over. Oops. No, 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 no. There's an exit up here, I think. It's not there. It's somewhere else. Okay, fine. There we go. I found my cape. Got my cape. Got my cape and having a lot of fun. Alright. There's door five, which we're not doing. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. Oops! <laughs> Okay, well that was good fun. Um, I appear to be uh, taking the long route today. I should probably switch to a strategy game if I have no attention span. Um, let's grab the one up, because otherwise, you know, I'm just going to game over somehow. Wait. This goes up here. You know, I just solved this a minute ago, and I've already forgotten how to do it. Alright, we're gonna do door 8, just because I'm feeling silly. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm Mario. That didn't rhyme at all. Oh, okay. Uh, it's probably easier with the cape than without any power up. Which is why I went through door three to gain the cape, which I promptly lost somehow. I don't even remember how I lost it. Um, I have a feeling that door seven's probably easier anyhow, so I should just try seven. Okay, I'm skipping the one up because, um, I don't know, it's faster to skip the one up. You know, in like game over and stuff. All right, there we go. Um, let's try seven. Okay, this guy doesn't shoot. The other guys do. Oh, what gives? How can I lose all my power-ups when that happens? Who invented this game? Alright, seven's not so easy. Actually, all doors five through eight are pretty hard. 
Um, but if I have a cape, I do pretty well at door 8. Uh, so I just need to go through 3 and 8. I should switch to Chip's Challenge, because at least that one, it doesn't matter how many times you fail in a row. Um, you can still set records. Um, I guess that's the whole individual level or IL concept for speedrunning. Uh, okay, that's how I lost my cape the other time. That other, that Mecha Koopa, combined with the fact that I can't hit the up button to go through a door, that's how I lost the cape. Alright. Here we go. Yeah. Easy. It's just target practice. Kaboom! Or not. Alright. See, that looked fancy. I've done that before. Like, every time. Oh! <laughs> oh no! No, I should not have done that. Okay. I'm secretly hoping that I'll game over. And that I could switch to... Um, I don't know, a strategy game. Because, evidently, I need more work to be good at platformers. Or I could try a platformer, or like, um, there is one in particular I've been intending to get to for a long time. I should probably just give that one a try. Okay, I got through the door. What a relief, right? Um... Here, we're gonna try 7 again. Oops. Okay, so I can build up P speed here. There we go. Ha! Truly the level designers knew what they were doing. I am impressed. Okay, get over here, Mecha Koopa. There we go. What are those guys? Oh, I've seen them. They're from Super Mario Bros. 2. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Well, when you think about it, isn't chess really just a form of music and music now? Not going to do any of that allegorical nonsense. Um, there we go. Boo -boo 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 -boo. All right. Oh, pause the timer. And now we get to um, enjoy the credits sequence. Because this is what it takes for the game to save your progress, is you have to view the whole credits. So, that's what's happening next here. Uh, once the credits are done being run, I will continue with Yoshi's Island 1. In the meantime, I'm a little bit hungry and thirsty and stuff, so taking a quick break while credits roll. That does remind me, I used to show my chat component on top of the graph. Um, you know, I should try to figure out how to get that working again for future streams. Um, not that I intend to change it up right now, but... And not, in the, not that what I've done here is too terrible either, but... Um, I mean, it makes sense to show that there. To make the best economy of the screen space on the stream. I was just surprised at all of this work today, so I didn't put in any more effort into it. Because um, I was skeptical that over whether this would actually continue running for the whole stream. Um, like, I half expected that this Mario world would just fail outright, and I'd have to quit out. Um, but no, apparently this emulator's working. So I should be happy about that. the remote. Um, I'd like to turn up the volume just a little bit. There we go. Because this is a great theme. Who comes up with these names like Dino Rhino? Warg. Somebody at Nintendo has fun making the names. The rest of them have to actually code for things like the blurps. Yeah, I'm over 1900 USCF. I haven't played a tournament in quite some time, but I don't know. Like, I tend to play when I guess when I feel that I'm fully prepared for the event, and I've studied my openings, and I'm feeling awake, alert, and in shape, and all that. Um, it's like when I'm in peak condition is when I play tournaments, and consequently my rating gets a boost because not everybody's in peak shape every tournament they play in. But also I do like play competitively, so 
there's that too. Um, but no, if I wanted to become professional, or at least get an NM title, I put in the time and the effort and study and discipline and all that, I could do it. It would just take a lot of time and a lot of effort. I'm not sure what the point would be. Okay. Let's see, is it going to remember how many exits I've collected? Hopefully. Oh, seven exits. So, okay, so there's actually no need to pause the timer and do all that. I could just reset the game. Somehow I thought that that was 11 exits to beat Bowser. I'm going to check out one thing. So I got Star Road. Yeah, okay. I see where I messed up. Interesting. Huh. Said all this clever routing, but I'd forgotten that... I thought every time you beat one of these levels it asks you to save your game, right? Um, why wasn't my game saved? Did I just do something retarded? Like, okay, so... I know, like, I beat this level by collecting this key here, going into the keyhole, and I thought it prompted me, don't you want to save? Am I just imagining that? It doesn't prompt you. It doesn't save. That's where I screwed up. Um, interesting. So, there's all these fun achievements that you get for doing various things, like beating Bowser, um, doing it with certain power-ups, going to Star Road. Um, I don't know why I didn't get this achievement. Clear the fewest stages possible and beat the game. See, I should have earned that. Because there's no faster or no shorter route in which to beat the game. Unless you're counting the zero exit path, which is pretty awesome, but I'm not counting that. Um, so I'm just going to blitz through these levels again. Um, and see, like, if it's going to give me that achievement for shortest path. Because I think I earned it. I mean, how could a title make me look any cooler than I already look? If the goal is to just show off to other players, then, like, isn't that kind of a vain goal? Oh no, no, I didn't do the fewest exits because I did that Star World 3 twice. So that's why. Okay, so that, okay, I'm learning here. Um, so we've devolved into just let's play this game. Um, how about that fancy, fancy button pushing stuff? Um, the key is that I can't get any of the exits other than those on the shortest route, and then I beat the game. Uh, to get Star World 4, I actually need... let's say Blue Yoshi. Actually, yeah, this is the easiest way to get through Star World 4. Why didn't I do this last time? Nope, nope, nope. I could have just done this, gone over here, blitzed my way through Star Wars 4 using now adult Blue Yoshi. See, the deal is you can't use Red Yoshi um, unless you have a cape. You either need a Blue Yoshi or you need a cape um, to get this exit down here. 
Now I got a red Koopa, so I need, I need to spit the red Koopa out so I can grab something that won't spit out and turn into flames, um, but just spits out as a normal shell. And then do this, and then grab the key. And then from here beat Bowser without having done any extra exits, so this is like the 11 exit route. But we're going to see again that the game isn't going to save my progress for this. Um, so, I prefer this room because there's a feather, or there's a cape in this room. Um, uh, get down here. It's okay because there's a cape over here. I'm gonna go through the door um, and uh, I could go through either seven or eight, although I tend to be better at eight. Six is really slow because you're stuck in a water level. Um, see, that's not so hard. Why did I make this so look so difficult earlier? It's not so hard at all. Um, one way to improve your connection to EA is to buy out EA. And then you can make your own decisions about how their infrastructure is supposed to work. Other than that, I don't really know. I can't... Unless you have a more specific question, I don't know how to advise. But, yeah, buying out EA will help you fix your connectivity problems with EA. Yeah, um, unfortunately, like, I don't know what causes Battlefront to work or what causes other games to work. I'm guessing that EA just puts um, Battlefront on its own server and they just haven't given enough hardware to that server for it to service all the various requests of people wanting to play the game. And why should they put it on a server capable of handling traffic? It's not like, um... I don't know, it's not like they make any more money um, once you've already bought the game. So they don't really have any in incentive to, um, you know, like, other than legal action or people returning the game or something. Uh, crud. Let's try to not get hit. Oops. Alright. Ah. Uh. Oh, Bowser. You're making this game interesting. Back over here. There we go. Yeah, but I'm thinking that it's just an EA issue and there's nothing you can do about it. Unless, like, you have control of EA in some way and are able to change them. Um, now, in theory, one thing, like if you were to completely change how the market works, an ideal market would have 
some ga group of game designers designing and releasing games, and some group of like server companies that actually run the servers. And so, like, even if there was an official EA server, you could be using some other server and the software would still work. Uh, in an ideal market, that's my vision of how this would work. Um, it's a little bit idealistic. Um, but the point is that EA wouldn't both sell the software and run the server. That you could have multiple... Um, entities that all chose to run servers for this game and you would pay these people who run the servers and they would offer you quality experience playing the game online. How to DMZ your IP. Are you sure you want to do that? I don't think that's going to help you at all for what you're just talking about. Um, like, I don't understand why you would want to do that. Um, but if you do want to do it, you'd have to look through your router settings and or use Google um, to DMZ whatever computer that you're trying to DMZ on your local network. Okay. So... Yeah, I yet again failed to achieve the achievement because, well, I goofed. I should have reset the game entirely. So here's the credits and all that. The achievement I was going for, or trying to get, was, um, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, shortest route. I did get it. Yeah, beat the game with 11 exits. Um, so I got it. That's what I was trying to do. I didn't see anything pop on screen for it, but apparently I did achieve that. So, the one thing I failed to account for is while earning that, um, the game forgets that you got 11 exits. So you need some way to save your progress. Um, so I'm trying to think that one through. I mean, there's the two ghost houses. I'm sorry, there's the... There's the two ghost houses? No. There's Iggy's Castle. And then there's uh, the secret ghost house. And so you'd have to save your progress on one of those two somehow after getting the 11th exit. And I think Secret Ghost House would be faster. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely just experimenting with routing this game at this point. Um, and just learning quite a bit about how this game works. And I guess my point is that once you reset the game, it's not going to remember that you got 11 exits. It's going to set your count back down to 7. Um, unless, of course, after beating Star World 4, you go back and save your game somehow. And I think Secret Ghost House is probably the faster way to do that. Probably faster than... Yeah, Iggy's Castle has an auto-scroll section, which is kind of slow. Um... So now the only question, is it, is, is it really faster to, um, to save your progress at the Secret Ghost House, or to do those levels twice? Um, some of them are really fast levels. I think going to Secret Ghost House makes sense, though. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Yeah. So I would need to do an extra lap through um, Donut Secret House or Iggy's Castle if I'm going to save progress. That said, these four exits are really fast. So maybe losing them isn't so bad. That really makes me think. The only reason I do these, beat Bowser and all that, um, so this, I don't know, this takes just a few seconds to collect the key and run down there. So I could do all this, then I could do Star World 2. Now one thing I'm learning is that... Um, okay, sure, I don't want to have a full-grown Yoshi until I beat the stage, but... Okay, even if I do it like this, which is not what I intended to do, but... Having a large Yoshi means I can beat Star World 4. Um, just really slows down getting to this part of the stage. This part being um, where the key is. If I just had an item up there... Yeah. That might be the way to go, is to collect an item, drop the item, and have Yoshi eat it. Okay. And yeah, then I grab the cloud, get the key. The only one of these that takes any serious amount of time is uh, Star World 4. Um, Uh, that didn't quite work so well. See, I don't have the attention span to play a platformer right now. That's kind of a bummer. So I'm just going to save um, what little progress I've earned. First grabbing a mushroom here. Actually, so... Well, okay, so I accidentally advanced the timer doing start select, but no big deal. It didn't advance too much. Um, yeah, let's just see. How long does it take to beat this? Um, without getting another exit. So, on an 11 exit route. Um, okay, so much for ducking under him, right? Also, you can't get that block down there. It really makes you wonder what that block's for some secret, extra secret thing. Um, so then you get back over here. Oops. Let's grab the P-switch. There we go. Or I could just look at my splits to see which of these is a faster level. Um, that would be unimaginative. Mm. Okay, so that's how you save the game. Yeah. I don't know. That seems like a lot of effort to go through just to save those four exits. Um, granted, Star World 4 there took me forever last time, but um, I don't know. I should switch to a low-impact, like, non-platformer game at this time, because this one's not going so well, to be frank. Um, <laughs> 